Hey knitters, welcome back. We are going to finish our first mitten today. I'm pretty excited to show you how to um, finish knitting your thumb and do the decreases there and then we will tuck in all the little loose places and weave in our ends and we will have one whole finished mitten and it's going to be really awesome. See you soon. All right guys, so we are ready to work on our thumb. We are going to take these stitches off the waist yarn, pick up a few stitches from right around the hole here, and then start knitting. So it's pretty simple doing the waist yarn. I like to do it with the waist yarn still in the stitches just so I don't chance losing any of them. I think I'm gonna do, um, looks like I'm gonna do four on one needle. Four on another, two, three, four, sorry, five on the other. This kind of sometimes happens. This is why you want to use a thicker yarn if you have it on hand, so that you don't have to pull that stitch up out of, out of the abyss if it... If it slides down there, there we go. So that one might be a little bit tight. So we've got four, five, we wanna have 14 all together. So that means I need to pick up six more stitch, oh sorry, five more stitches. So we are going to pick up around this part of the mitten. We're gonna pick up one stitch here. And I like to take, instead of taking these guys because they pull out real long, I like to take from right here to three, four, and five. So that's, I mean, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 stitches for our thumb and we are going to start right where we start picking up so that's going to be needle one and we just pick up and knit each of these stitches all the way around and leave a pretty decent sized tail also um, as you do this so that we have a little bit to work with to weave in, the, not only weave in the ends, but also um, tighten up a little, a couple of the little gaps that might be there in our thumb after we get finished. And so you can see it's pretty simple, just like you're doing any other knitting in the round on double pointed needles. We're just gonna knit all the way up. We're gonna do about an inch and a half or like keep in mind the same idea um, from the hand where we knit um, until two inches below where we wanted or an inch and a half below where we wanted it to go this is going to be like a half an inch below where you want it to um, hit so that's that when you get around to the first bit it's going to be loose you can see a little bit of a gap there just Pull that in, cinch that in tight, and you can even pull on your tail a little bit, and that'll we'll tighten that up again later. Um, so just keep going like that, knit until you get um, where you, how long you want your thumb to be, and then we'll work on the decreases. All right, so here is our the body of our thumb, knit an inch and a half long which is the perfect length for me. And then we are going, we are right back where we started with the first needle and we are going to start our decreases. We don't do any knit rows in between, it's just decrease rows. We wanna decrease pretty quick here. So we're just going to start off with knit three, or sorry, knit two, knit two together. We're gonna to do that all the way around just like we did when we were doing the hand last week.
And just like we had on top, we're going to end with these last two knit two stitches on the last of the round. And then the next round, we're going to knit one, knit two together. There we go. We know we're at the end. We've got those last two stitches. And then this round, we're just going to knit all of the stitches, knit two together. So, and since that's the last one on that needle, I'm just going to go ahead and transfer it over to this guy. So I've got knit two together. And then I'm going to transfer this stitch over. And then untangle my yarn there, knit two together. So we've got four stitches left and that is we don't want to go any lower than that. So I'm going to break the yarn. I'm going to leave kind of a long tail just because thread our needle. And then, just the way we knit around, we're going to thread the yarn through those last four stitches, pulling it kind of tight so it doesn't pucker. Oh, it's got kind of more of a pucker there than I'd like, so we're going to stretch it out a little bit. Pull it in tight. We don't want that sticking up, so we'll do one more, one more round to pull that through tight and then stick it just like we did on the mitten top, stick it down through the middle. Pull it through. There we go. So that is our finished mitten. We're done with the knitting on that. So I'm going to turn it inside out. Whoop, there we go. And we're going to weave in the ends on this. So we just go into the bottom of a few of these reverse stockinette stitches that are all in the same row. And then we go back and do the same thing the other way. And then do it again. And I want to try it on. So that looks just about perfect for my hand. The only thing we're going to finish up, as you can see, that's kind of got a little bit of a gap there. Um, and eh, not as bad on this side, but mostly where we started, it's got a little bit of a gap. So we are going to turn it back the other way and use the tail that we had from casting on for the thumb to kind of tighten up that little little gap there and to do that I just sort of go back and forth between the um, reverse stock cadet stitches on either side of that little gap and just pull it through and so there's a slight gap there so we're gonna do it one more time. Pull it through. This also gets you a start on weaving in your end. Um, 
So I like to do it into the hand over here. And then the last thing we have to do is weave in the end from when we cast on the cuff. And I'm going to kind of see how there's a bit of a gappy stitch there. I'm going to kind of start by tightening that up a little bit, just a smidge, and going into these purl stitches here on the back side, just to give it a little bit of strength all the way down. Alright, so, and then you can grab your scissors and trim it. I always like to try it on one last time, make sure I'm happy with it before I start trimming the ends. Ah, so you can see that that little gap there, all closed up. I've got a mitten that fits very snug and very warm. It's not quite as cold as it was, um, or quite as hot as it was, excuse me, last time I filmed the video it was 90 degrees. Today we're sitting at 65. It was almost chilly this morning when I was taking the kiddos out for a walk. It was great. Anyway, so that is our finished mitten. I love it. I hope you love yours. Check back next week. I'm going to be doing a video on how to make a flip top mitten um, with no seam. So it's, we're going to... Um, it's basically you're going to knit the same as you would up until this point, and then I'm going to show you a trick to turn any mitten into a flip top. So I'll check you back then. See you guys.